One, it's super easy. There's only three ingredients to it. And two, it's super versatile. Um, you can mix up different ingredients or add one to two different things in here and you're going to totally change the drinks. You'd be surprised how many drinks out there that you get at these fancy bars. It's pretty much a lemon drop with something fancy in it. So. All right, first we get our ice. And lemon drops kind of vary a little bit, but um, usually it's about two ounce vodka, ounce of sugar, and ounce of lemon juice, and that's it. Shaken and pour it, pour it over the glass, in the martini glass. Um, another little tip that Julia didn't want to talk about, um, anything with citrus or um, fruit in there is always shaken. Anything that's not, so just vodka or just uh, up, um, up anything, it should be stirred. Typically that's the way it is. You don't bruise it. Bruising is when you shake it. So we're gonna do vodka. Would you say that one more time? So anything with citrus, fruit, or anything like that is always shaken. Okay. And anything that's just up, like martinis or anything like that with no citrus, is stirred. Except for mine. Unless you ask for it. Unless you ask for it. That's typical though. To be honest, most places will shake every drink. And when you shake something that's, that's typically not shaken, like a vodka up or a martini in Manhattan, they call it bruising. You're bruising the vodka. You're bruising the, the... And it does change the flavor quite a bit. If you want, we can do one of each later and you can try it. But anyway, we're going to do two ounces of uh, the vodka. These are pretty slow. Um, another thing is when I pour, I always put my finger over the top like this. Yeah. Because I have seen these things pop off and just getting dumped the whole thing in there. Um, and the problem with that is... So, that's so this is just sugar. I just made sugar at home. I didn't know if we had it here. Simple, we do have simple, simple syrup. syrup. In the, in simple the, syrup that's labeled down. down. And typically in half, a, half a lemon is usually uh, pretty much needed. And when you do squeeze it, if you do it tilt to the side, you're going to get all the juice out of there. So we're going to shake it here. Just yeah. the vodka? Yep, because yeah, there's, yeah. there's, there's citrus. Uh, citrus, citrus in there. So you, typically there's a sugar rim on, on a lemon drop. So all you put in is vodka and lemon juice so far. And, and, and sugar. Sugar, sugar. Oh, sugar. sugar, sugar. yeah. Okay, you shake it. You're a strainer. Didn't quite get the count on the sugar. So it's, it's typically about two ounces um, of the vodka and an ounce of sugar and an ounce of lemon juice. Out. Right, you get a good color in there. And at home, if you want to do a little something fancy, this is just uh, blackberries, a little mashed up, and <coughs> let it drop in the bottom like that. You get a pretty cool look there. Somehow I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but it's beautiful. Give a little stir. Use one for lemons as a garnish. Or maybe this one. Or you can twist it or whatever. So really in the lemon drop, you can put anything you want in the bottom there. Some, some people do ginger. You can shake ginger in there. You can do any kind of fruit you can think of. Another thing you do with lemon drop is you can flavor your syrup. So I've heard people do um, like a thyme one. So they, they when they make this and they blow down the sugar, they put thyme in there so you get a good little thyme flavor. Um, you can, I mean, so with these three ingredients, you can do a million different things. And this drink is all over the place in the city, just like that. If you brought that to table, you'd be pretty impressed. <laughs> and you ring it as a martini. Martini, okay. Depending on what alcohol they use, you got three grades of martini. Yep. I'd give that one an A plus. Yeah, so nice job. Everybody wanted to. Before they pour in there, they'll, they'll go in the shaker. And do one of those. Simply just like a chef, you know, they're just tasting the product. And if that tastes pretty good to me, I'll drink it. <laughs> you started smiling right after you did that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's not big enough. You can't taste I thought there was more, right. more, more like triple sec or something in it. No? That's just this it. is a pretty standard. Simple Some people syrup. use um, a sweet. triple sec instead of the sugar. But remember, triple sec, Cointreau, or Grand Marnier, it's all going to uh, put an orange flavor into the drink. Got it. So I guess super standard lemon drop would use sugar. Okay. Just because then you can put anything you want to it. Perfect. All right. Then we have our Cosmo. Um, this is a pretty standard drink around the city that a lot of people order. Um, so you start off with your, your vodka. It's usually about an ounce and a half of vodka. About so. All right. And then we have our lime. 
I always like to use fresh lime juice. I know we have the roses, but I think that puts a weird flavor into it. Half of one? Yeah, about half. Um, it kind of depends. Some, some are really juicy, some are not, you know? So you have to kind of kind of gauge that. Um, triple sec, about a half ounce of triple sec. And then on the gun we have um, your um, cranberry. This, oh, right? Or C. 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 Um, it's really spot. I like to make my my um, my cosmos pretty pale. I just think when it's super red, it looks, looks kind of funny. So I just like a little splash. I'm gonna shake it up. And I know this is isn't for everyone, but if you're good, you can kind of do one of these jobs and not use a strainer. Kind of save some time and, uh, and then you get a pretty solid pour there. Lime and on the rim or nothing? Lime on the rim. Yeah. And you can taste it with a straw if you want. So that's pretty easy. I don't have much to say about Cosmo, it's just a Cosmo. There's no like variations. I guess there are some. Some people do variations of Cosmo. Do you have a medium bottle of Okay, no more All right. So your uh, mojito, mojito. So it's, it's, it's a rum-based drink. It's typically, it's typically a light rum. Um, so it's going to be rum. You're going to muddle the, the mint with the ice and the simple sugar. So the simple sugar is going to make it sweet. Soda water and a touch of lime juice. Um, I like to do it in. Sorry, I'm messing you up, man. Right. <laughs> so, we're going in the shaker. I'm just going to model in the glass right now. I'll be careful. Um, so, we don't. Uh, so, you can see what it looks like in there. Um, they're pretty strong. This is how we do them at the bar, to be honest with you. So that's mint? This is all mint. I mean, I like a lot of mint in the ones I make, but some people don't. It's a preference. And you just the leaves, ditching the stem. Yeah, right? ditching the stem, yeah. And then sugar. I like the motto with the sugar in there. I'd probably say, I'd, I'd look up recipe, and, and usually when I bartend, I just kind of do it by eye, but it's probably about an ounce of sugar. I think if you put the sugar in the bottom with the mint, it all kind of gets together a little bit. So you put your hand over there. Of course, make sure your hand's clean. And you're going to muddle it all up. And the trick with mojitos is the more you muddle, the more of that mint you're going to get. Some places you order mojitos, all you do taste is rum and soda water. And the sugar, I feel like the sugar kind of, you're flavoring the sugar when you're doing this. Nice and small. So you notice I put about half ice and we smash it all up and then we fill the rest up with ice. And then your rum, white rum, your standard ounce and a half here, uh, soda water, and I'm just going to squeeze a touch of lime. Too much lime in there will, will kind of kill your uh, your flavor of the mints. Do you use white rum? Yeah, white rum. And of course, you gotta kind of toss it once or twice because all the all the stuff with all the sugars on the bottom. And it gets a uh, lime garnish. There you go. Mojito. Yay! And anytime you make a mojito, number one, they make a mess, and actually, bartenders hate when you order mojitos. <laughs> Because it makes a mess, your shaker's dirty, it just gets everywhere, but they are delicious. Thanks, Chris.